Hi, this is Yukio Ishizuka from Lifetrack.com. Today's subject is how to cure explosive anger without drugs in six months or less. The cause of anger can be explained by this diagram. As the challenge or threat mounts along this line, past experience and current capability to cope would be exceeded at the threshold, where stress symptoms or warning signals will manifest. Anxiety first, then anger, physical symptoms, depression, and psychosis generally in that order. When individual had been exposed to excessive anger-provoking threats uh, earlier in life, threshold will, will have been brought down to a lower level and become fixated. Thus, little or no trigger sometimes provoke intense angry response, explosive anger, disrupting one's daily living. That threshold is determined by the person's existing personality, which is defined as the way the person thinks, feels, and acts about oneself, and in close relationships such as in marriage or comparable relationship, or at work or productive creative activities in life. Now, how can we raise the threshold by changing the personality? To do that, we have to take several steps. The first step is to define personality in such ways it can be measured repeatedly and consistently over time. And the graphically track that subtle change in personality to guide the therapy. And that is done over uh, with computer and these days via internet. And next step is to focus efforts to make breakthrough in intimacy sphere of those three spheres first, while allowing self and achievement to stagnate, absorbing uh, waves of symptoms until symptoms dissipate and self and achievement spheres can recover and converge on intimacy at much higher level. That process of personality transformation go through four stages typically. First stage is when intimacy is above self and achievement sphere and symptom peak, the black line, is typically very high. The second stage is when intimacy, the red line alone, rises above previous maximum of 10 while self and achievement continue to stagnate or sometimes dips deeply, absorbing waves of symptoms until symptoms dissipate by exhaustion. Then self and achievement begins to rise above previous maximum of, uh, of 10, catching up with intimacy. That is the third stage. When they converge, in this case at 40, four times higher than ever before, according to his own self-assessment, three spheres continue to rise without, little, uh, without any therapeutic intervention. This is the stage four. Uh, the Kevin was a typical example of severe explosive anger problem. He was in his 30s with three, three small children, had a history of explosive temper tantrums with violence, having thrown his fist through uh, window glasses and uh, punched holes in doors, kicked holes in the walls, and sometimes struck his wife with such force she landed in the emergency room requiring surgery to repair the damage in the inner ear. He asked for help uh, after a particularly frightening episode. He was a frustrated writer, having tried to write a bestseller over 10 years without success, while his wife went back to work supporting the family until her second baby was almost born. He was frustrated uh, on the job and despised the job and wished that he was writing instead. And he was unhappy, and so was his wife, at a frequent fight at home. And his therapy proceeded as follows. The first step was to invite wife Cindy to join therapy, which she did, and no medication was used for neither one of them. The therapy focused exclusively on bringing them closer than ever before, guided by daily self-rating on 41 parameters and graphic computer tracking uh, and, uh, of, of their progress. Uh, Kevin's time, uh, internet was not yet available, so it was done on the computer screen. And a weekly session lasting for two hours continued for six months. 
Now, Kevin's first months, this is the symptoms. He, his symptoms were not just anger, the blue line, but anxiety, depression red, pink, the physical symptoms, psychosis is black. And all these symptoms seem to have waves. Cluster, uh, there were three major cluster of symptom spikes during the first months. During that first months, intimacy remained above self and achievement, although all three spheres seemed to advance through ups and downs. The ups or surges was followed or accompanied by surges and stress as well. Stress went up when intimacy rose and bringing it down. But after the highest spike of symptom, recovering intimacy reached the highest peak thus far. The same happened with achievement and self spheres as well. Now, by the end of the third month, his dramatic symptoms have dissipated and disappeared. And by this, the end of the six months, when th uh, therapy ended successfully, uh, during the last three of the six months, he was practically symptom-free, except for one notable spike of anxiety and depression on January 19th, coinciding with his intimacy reaching 40. That triggered this large uh, spike of symptoms and crisis and big fight. Intimacy retreated and recovers and uh, led the advance closely followed by intimacy and self uh, spheres in typical stage four pattern. Until there, his intimacy was struggling its way towards 10 and then beyond, provoking and overcoming spikes of symptoms or waves of symptoms, which were frequently absorbed by self and achievement that uh, dipped as if to absorb spikes of symptoms, allowing intimacy alone to advance. Now, Cindy struggled along uh, Kevin, uh, participating in every session. And at the beginning, her intimacy score was very low. She was fed up with her husband. But she was persuaded to try to get closer to him. And that effort provoked waves of symptoms, which slowly dissipated, allowing three spheres to rise above 10 for the first time. That provoked a higher spike of symptoms, bringing everything down. But here, intimacy remained above self and achievement, uh, showing that he reached the stage one. Uh, after that spike of symptom uh, diminished, his intimacy led the way rapidly to 27, then again provoking the highest spikes of symptoms and the big crisis and fight. Uh, yeah. And then uh, intimacy retreated, but when it recovered, as the stress symptoms diminished quickly, uh, intimacy led the pr uh, progress, uh, followed closely by self and achievement in stage four pattern. The therapy ended successfully with Cindy and uh, Kevin becoming very happy couple. Despite uh, limited resources, uh, uh, Kevin found the meaning and satisfaction in the same job he used to despise. The condition for success for life track therapy depends on four factors. The first, patient has to be suffering enough thus motivated to change. An appropriate partner has to be available. And the three-way teamwork has to be maintained for several months, guided by daily self-rating graphs by both parties. And the patients with partners did four times better than single patients in terms of percentage exceeding their previous maximum level of 10 in total adjustment. 15.2% among 342 single patients reached there and the four times more, 61.4% of 871 patients with partners reached or exceeded previous maximum of 10. And the outcome also jumped from 10 to almost 80% when couple persisted beyond the first months of therapy. And that went up to 86.6% when they persisted beyond three months. And for more information about life track therapy for explosive anger and other psychiatric uh, disorders and symptoms, uh, please call or visit the lifetrack.com website for more information. Thank you for your attention. Until next time.